Hello friend good evening and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you will be fine there. This is your host Khan Baba. God will give you more happiness and long life. I try to my level best to give you latest update about Iraqi dinar. So please like and share my video with your friend and family which will help me for supporting. And now let's start the today information. Laying the foundation stone for the largest skyscraper in Baghdad. The Baghdad municipality is proud to give approval for the first skyscraper in the heart of the capital, Baghdad, within the new downtown complex of the city of Baghdad. I just received a deadline date for the RV, but I don't believe it until I hear from more sources. Reminder redemption centers are banks. They are bank offices designed to be off-premises for the purpose of validating and verifying the IQD and accrediting your bank account with the exchange amount deposit. They are banks and you will not get better rates at a bank exchange center. It is against the law to sell a financial instrument for different prices at different places. It is called the rule of one price. There are laws and they will be followed. The next pay period for Iraqi government salaries that will follow up after this one will be based on the new exchange rate and so will the HCL payment to the citizens. Both their back pay and the HCL will be presented to the citizens at the same time, not on separate events. Do not look for purchasing power yet. Coordination with the World Bank for Projects Pretty much everybody except the U.S. and the Federal Reserve is banking on Iraq's WTO ascension and the increase in value of the dinar. The World Bank is one of those and they are working with Iraq on larger infrastructure projects. Iraq is not staying in the background for much longer. Most likely when they announce the official WTO ascension we will see a public rate IMO. World Trade Organization in Geneva 2024 was held on July 18th. That's just a few months ago. The significance of this is. It marked the formal resumption of Iraq's accession process to the WTO after a six-year hiatus. They have intensified the bilateral negotiations for the accession. There's a push now and they will need to be an internationally accepted currency in place ahead of the accession. The best part is that Iraq is now refining their own oil and selling not only raw crude oil exports but now running refineries to generate oil products or derivatives and exporting them too. There was a lot of news this weekend coming out of Iraq. Prime Minister Sudani saying, Iraq is witnessing unprecedented economic development and a stable political system, he is using very important key words. Dr. Shabibi, former governor of the CBI and architect of the RV, had told us if they gave him a safe and stable Iraq, he would give them a higher revaluation or reinstatement. Iraq is the most stable country in the region and becoming a leader. Removing zeros from the Iraqi dinar is back in the spotlight. Strengthening the currency or just changing its form by 48.5%. Banks Association. Financial inclusion in Iraq has increased. When will they feel they have achieved enough? I think they are about there already. Thank you for watching. Take care and goodbye.